How can we motivate our children to become attached to the masjid and love Islam? For a great many years, you're the influence. It starts with you, right? Before they become middle school age, they're going to follow your example, right? So if you treat the masjid like a place just to dump the kids off or a place just to go on the weekend, they're going to have the same understanding of the masjid. If you feel a constant attachment to the masjid, then they're going to feel a constant attachment to the masjid. If you involve them in masjid programs, but whenever something else comes up, you're prioritizing that other thing, you take them out of the masjid programs in order to go to karate, or in order to go to sports, in order to do whatever, then what are they going to learn? They're going to learn which one takes priority. When they're really going to start attaching themselves to the masjid and Islam is when they see you making sacrifices for Islam. When you say, no, you have to miss karate practice or sports practice that day because you have to go learn the Quran at the masjid. Or when you're not going to school because it's Eid, you're not going to school because it's Juma, or I'm going to take you out of school early because it's Juma. That's when you're sending a message to your kids about what's really important in life. They're learning from you. So if you want to influence this, then you need to check your own priorities and how you're communicating those priorities to your children.